contemporary approaches to information uh, system so what are the contemporary approaches means currently what people are doing so is is see here uh, like uh, uh, there are two approaches if you see over here one is called uh, technical approach and uh, behavioral approaches over there right so in technical approach what you have it so it is say that uh, uh, like for example uh, this one is like a computer science mis computer sciences products the subjects which you have so we need to learn few subjects from the computer science operational research to optimize the the processes okay so when you how to optimize the process with the less time we do more over there and the management science over there okay so these are the technical side of that one okay behavioral approaches means some are like uh, sociology some aspect you need to learn about that one uh, economics uh, is important because the revenue is generated and the psychology over there how to deal with the employees and how to deal with the uh, people over there so these these are the two different um, approaches of of mis uh, uh, with that one so one are like a uh, uh, technical approaches and second one is called the behavioral approaches over there operation research means like uh, uh, how to uh, uh, how to like optimize your process optimize process means with less time um, uh, you can have like a uh, more processes okay or with uh, like uh, for example uh, before your process took like 5 days to complete uh, uh, your process like for the refining of the oil let's suppose Uh, it takes five days, but some like uh, research was done, and they reduce from the five days to the three days. So now the pro- the company will have like more profit over there. So that's called operational research. So how to uh, like uh, enhance the performance of an organization by the day day to day working? So, so if it you focuses are, uh, it focuses on efficiency and effectiveness huh exactly yeah efficiency and effectiveness uh, but it is not for the strategy strategy is for long term long term planning that how i can i can have like a uh, yes. uh, different views in and in 5 years or in 1 year or in 10 years okay so this is very important uh, i uh, last time i was teaching in mba uh, uh, there was my student he was a director of uh, 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 of sadara you know hr director over there he and he and he was discussing with me on one of the case study that in their company in sadara uh, there was one engineer and uh, he uh, and he and he worked on the optimization process over there and before the machine used to take uh, 27 seconds to complete a process but he did some uh, like a uh, research work on that one and he reduced to the 13 seconds over there uh, so like for them so with 13 seconds when they reduce it to 13 seconds the the revenue generated like like a uh, in from like a uh, from 10 million to 15 million over there right so with just like uh, in seconds sometime if you reduce the the machinery operation time from like uh, 27 seconds to 13 seconds over there this like uh, increase your profit as well from 10 million to the 15 million over there